It's reported that uh, Rachel Reeves will make a statement on public finances tomorrow. Uh, what is it that you know this morning that you didn't know back in June when you drew up your programme for government? Oh, you're right. Rachel will be making a statement in the House of Commons tomorrow and she will be open and transparent about what we have found as an incoming government, an incoming set um, of ministers since we came into our departments. The inheritance from the previous government has been catastrophic. They were spending money like there's no tomorrow um, and then they called an election, they've run away and they're trying to deny it. It's very important that we get back to openness uh, in public life, so we're not going to shy away from what's going wrong, and we are determined to take the decisions that will start to rebuild Britain uh, and give people uh, better opportunities well, in the future. Uh, if there's openness in, in public life, uh, uh, is there an element of, um, let's call it, kabuki theatre here? I mean, Rachel Reed, here's what Rachel Reeves herself said um, back in June. She said, um, we've got the OBR now, we know things are in a pretty bad state. You don't win an election to find that out. Yet now, you're suddenly going, oh, my God, there are all these things we didn't know. Was she wrong then, or is she just doing theatre now? Well, there were things outside what the OBR uh, had been covering. Let's take what, one of what I think was the most egregious is the, the prisons crisis. So we were told by the Conservatives going through the election that there was no need to um, speculate uh, about the country running out of prison places because they had plans in hand to deal with that. Shabana Mahmood is appointed the uh, Justice Secretary, goes into her department and is immediately told that we're facing critical failure point, which means we run out of prison places as soon as August. So she had to take immediate action to stem the risk with that respect, judges would no longer be able to sentence with respect, convicted she, criminals with respect, to jail she, sentences she, because we've run out of places. She, she knew that. I, in fact, I remember reading her press release about early release in which she said, made more or less exactly that point. Is, there isn't anything new that you didn't, you could not have known. I mean, uh, Trevor, uh, Paul, just, just on that, Trevor, now, because we now know that the Prime Minister received a letter from senior civil servants the week before he called the election, warning him about this critical failure point and that judges would no longer be able to send convicted criminals to prison if they deserved a custodian sentence. But my point is... But my that point is, is you and your... new information we did not but have. My point we is... knew that there was a problem growing. You know, when I was the Justice Secretary um, a, a year... The Shadow ago, Justice Secretary. The Shadow Justice Secretary um, the, the, uh, about a year ago, we were pushing this same point in the House of Commons. But, but the, the government but, but, reassured us again and again and again that we needn't worry that there was sufficient... But my places. point is... My point is... You you, you personally, plus your colleagues, would come in here week after week after week and say, we don't believe them, it's worse than, it, than, than they're saying. And now suddenly, you're discovering that it's worse than they were saying. It's not only that we didn't know, the Prime Minister deliberately covered it up. They covered it up. Oh, okay, so, so now it's a cover-up. It was a cover-up. It, it, it's not I'm, that you've discovered something new. Because Paul Johnson said, Paul Johnson in the IFS said, uh, I think two months ago, in that very seat, oh that we're going to discover that there's going to be a 10... I think he said at the point, that point, £10 billion pound black hole. My, my point is, is a simple one, that actually it's perfectly reasonable for the Chancellor now to say there is a black hole. But you can't possibly maintain that you're surprised, because you spent all your time okay, telling us, you a, don't be surprised. Trevor, I'll give you another one. So, um, the, Ru the Rwanda scheme. We believed, because that's what the Conservatives were telling us, that they had spent £400 million to send just four volunteers to Rwanda. Bad enough, you'd think. But Yvette Cooper goes into the Home Office and finds out the actual spend is £700 million, 75% more, okay. an additional £300 million that they had covered up. Now, I've asked some Conservative MPs, did you know about that and therefore were complicit in the cover-up, or right. is it news to you? In which case, it's good that we're now being open and transparent because right. once you see the problem, you can deal with the problem All and right. we want to get away with the politics of denial and cover-up and okay. be open and honest. Let, let's just talk about...